All right, so Paul, I'll give you Titan is really cool, but you still haven't explained why it really has a thick atmosphere. Yeah, okay, and the answer is we don't know. <laughs> um, I mean, it's much smaller than Mars, but has okay. a much thicker atmosphere. It's yeah. even thicker than the Earth's atmosphere. That's right. So what could be going on? Why could such a small gravity maintain such a thick atmosphere? Now, one immediate idea is because Titan is almost certainly largely made of ice. Yep. So it's got lots of gas there. Also, it's very far away from the sun. Yep. So there's not so much solar radiation going to pull things away. And because the atmosphere is very cold, the atoms are not going to ping pong up very high. But, but there's other moons out around Jupiter and Saturn. That's, that's the problem. So yeah. that all sounds fairly plausible in isolation. But then here we've got the three biggest moons of the solar system. We've got Ganymede, Titan, and Callisto. And Callisto and Ganymede are around Jupiter, which yes. is not as far as Saturn, but pretty far out. Yeah, and they're also made at least 50% of the same sorts of ices yep. and gases. But somehow they've completely got no atmosphere whatsoever. Yep. And Titan's got enormous atmosphere. So, yeah, so why? And I wish we really knew the answer. Okay. I mean, it's... Some people thought, for example, that maybe it was because the magnetic field of Saturn protects it from the solar wind. Okay. So but Jupiter kind of... has an even stronger yeah, magnetic yeah. field, so yeah. that's not going to work. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe what's going on here is there's a kind of a sweet spot. Okay. That Jupiter, even though it's you know, a long way from the sun, is still four times the sunlight intensity of Saturn, okay, and that means you know, more solar wind that probably doesn't penetrate through the um, magnetic field. But maybe that extra heat is enough to allow the gas to escape on okay. Ganymede and Callisto, but on the otherwise very similar Titan. This is a scale drawing, by the way. These are the actual yeah. real relative sizes. So, so they're really things. essentially almost the same thing. They're all a bit more than two thousand kilometers in radius, all about the same mass, a few by ten to the twenty-three kilograms. Yeah. Um, so maybe just being out at five astronomical units from the Sun rather than ten for Saturn that makes enough of a difference that the atmosphere okay. can escape from these but not from that one. Okay. Um, or maybe uh, it was carried away by meteorite impacts. Okay. Because if a meteorite comes in, I mean, yeah. you'd think they've got the same mass so that it will do the same damage, but because um, Ganymede and Callisto are near Jupiter. That's right. Any meteorite that's coming in is going to be sucked in by Jupiter's enormous mass. Yep. And that if they happen to hit Ganymede on the way in, they're going fast, and therefore may do more damage. Okay. Yep. So it could be that more impacts have stripped it away, or maybe that being a little bit hotter has helped the gas escape. Or what maybe some combination thereof. But really, it's not entirely a solved problem, is my reading of the literature. Okay. Um, so we, we know Titan has a very thick atmosphere, very cool place. And it shouldn't as much as say when we look at the scale, but we just don't really know why yet. Another clue is to look further out. Okay. So we know that when you go close in with similar bodies, maybe the same sort of stuff closer, they don't seem to have an atmosphere. How about similar sorts of bodies going further out? Okay. Now there aren't really um, any very similar bodies with a similar sort of mass to yeah. further out, but we do have two other objects in the solar system which are further out, which do have atmospheres. That's right. Which is Triton, the moon of uh, Neptune. Neptune, and Pluto. Okay, so they're much further out than this. Yeah, and Triton does have an atmosphere. Here's a view from behind, yep. and uh, it's thinner. And here's Pluto's atmosphere. Which clearly has one. And we've seen the atmosphere slightly change over time, right? Yeah, so Pluto's atmosphere, um, even before the New Horizons spacecraft went past, you could see it by looking at occultation when it goes yep. into a background star. I was involved in some of those early observations. And I think we're kind of like a sweet spot for atmosphere. I okay. mean, all these worlds out from Jupiter beyond are made largely of ice. Yep. And so all of them under the right conditions can have an atmosphere. Um, when you go too far out there, most of the atmosphere is frozen. Yeah, okay. So, for example, probably methane on Pluto is going to be frozen, but you yep. do get some nitrogen on a hot summer's day evaporating into the atmosphere. So, probably if you took Pluto or Triton and brought them into the orbit of Saturn, then have Titan like atmospheres, ah. as more of what's on them would evaporate. That's right. But if you were to go even closer, say around Jupiter, you're too close almost. Yeah, and again, we're not quite sure why they yeah. lost the atmosphere, but it, it, it may be just that Titan's in the sweet spot. Okay. The planets further out have a bit of an atmosphere, but most of it's frozen under your feet, so you're walking around on their atmosphere rather than breathing it in. Okay.